I am Odin, the father of a bumbling simpleton. <sighs> and I cannot believe they gave him his own movie. I mean, really, it's just smash, smash, hit things with a hammer. I thought the boy was going to be a carpenter. Oh, I'm gonna bring the rain! The thunder, the lightning, my name's Thor. Let's go beat up on some frost giants today, woo! <sighs> this is the life of a father, I tell you. They reward the biggest imbecile child I have with a movie contract. Oh, I tell you. Let's talk about this movie he's in. I punished the boy for being such an arrogant prick and sent him to Earth in the form of Donald Blake, a physician, hoping he'd learn humility and stuff. What's he do? He figures out he's Thor trapped in an immortal body, right? And then he just uses it as like a secret identity, like he's Superman or Batman. Do you know why he did that? Because he didn't want to leave the little missy. He didn't want to leave that nurse. So, in the movie, none of that's true. They made Jane Foster out to be this brilliant scientist. But in the 60s, Jane Foster was a nurse. Later on, Jane Foster became a doctor. Not some weird portal chasing doctor, but like a physician. So when this movie came about, there was only a brief nod to Donald Blake, the physician that my son was trapped in the body of, or shared the body of. Shocker! What's a guy to do? I'll tell you what, that Anthony Hopkins old you mighty fine job as somebody special, right? At least they made out my kid to be a simpleton. A skirt casing, hammer wielding buffoon. Which was pretty accurate. The mojito, despite its inaccuracies, was pretty exciting. Not how I lost this eye exciting, but still exciting. Let's just throw it out there to Marvel. How about an Odin movie? Hmm? The All-Father. No? Fine. The movie started out pretty good. Kinds of action and adventure. But then you sent him to Midgard, where it dragged a lot. Because the idiot was chasing Jane around. I get it. I get it. I am the all-knowing Odin. They wanted to create a love interest for future movies. How'd that work out? So the fights with the Frost Giants. That was pretty good. The fight in the little town with the Warriors 3 and Sif. That was pretty good. Loki being his conniving little prick self. Yeah, yeah. It was still a pretty good movie.